Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again this time. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. But, oh my god. Hi everyone, should I turn up the light? Let's see. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Stephanie. Thank you for coming back to my channel and seeing what's new. I've actually gotten a lot of comments on another one of my previous videos. Feedback and some questions which I'm always happy to answer and I'll be doing so in a form of videos because I'm not sure exactly what to talk about all the time so it's good content. One of the questions that I got was about lash glue and how to pick the perfect one for you and check your humidity and all that stuff that you have to worry about. So I just wanted to go into detail and talk about what your ideal lash glue should look like. When you're buying lash glue, in the description, they always have like a little description of the temperature and humidity that the glue works best at. I always check reviews before I purchase a new or different type of glue that I've never used before. I think it's very important just because you want to know if it actually works or not. Obviously, sometimes there might not be any, so sometimes you're taking a chance. If there are, definitely look at reviews and see what people say. I also have joined a lot of groups on Facebook for lash techs. I have found a lot of good products for lashing through those groups. If I'm ever interested about something, I'll either post a question like, Oh, has anybody ever tried this before? And then people will answer. I would definitely recommend joining those groups. Anyways, going back to the glue. For glue, you can check your humidity. Humi okay, for your room, to be able to check your humidity levels and temperature, you can buy a hygrometer, hygrometer. I'm not sure how to say it, to be honest, but we're going to move past that. You can buy one off of Amazon. I've seen them before. I can't remember how much they're, they cost. Your ideal humidity levels should be between 45 to 60%. If your room is too humid, your glue will cure a lot faster and it will be like half dry before you even actually use it. Normally when you have high humidity, your glue will dry about one to two times faster. If you are in a high humidity area, it's recommended that you use a glue that has slower drying time because let's say it's like 45 seconds, it's gonna dry one to two times faster anyways. Things that you can use to help bring down the humidity levels in your room, a dehumidifier. So that's if you have too much humidity. Having too low humidity is also not good low humidity in your room the lash glue won't activate the glue will just stay wet in a sense and i've experienced this before i'll go into my personal story a little bit later actually fuck it i might as well do it now oh no i'll do it later but <laughs> in a place where humidity is very low you can use a glue that has faster drying speed and that way it will take a longer time to dry to help to add humidity to your room, you can use a humidifier. You can also use a nano mister or nebulizer, but they can both help with humidity because they provide extra moisture. I know there are other items that can help with curing adhesive. There is something called glue aid, and I've I'm pretty sure many brands have it, but the one that I had looked at was from Lashbox LA. The glue aid helps to fasten the drying time. Referring to temperature now, also very important to know what your temperature is in your room because of the fact that if it's too hot or too cold, your glue won't work. And the ideal room temperature is between 71 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit and 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. So here is what, where I'll tell my story. I had a client in the morning it was super cold and we were in the room going fine at first when i was doing her extensions and then kind of like 15 20 minutes into the service the glue and the lashes were just not sticking i was getting so frustrated i didn't understand why you know i didn't get it i think it's too cold but i honestly wasn't really sure if that was the answer when it's perfectly humid and perfectly like the temperature and the humidity are perfect and you go to apply a lash extension almost as like a magnetic thing lash extension just immediately sticks to the natural lash perfectly. That was not happening. I did the whole service like that. Luckily, she was actually like a friend of mine that I knew, so it wasn't like as bad. I asked her to come in again so I could just touch them up because I wasn't happy with the service. But yeah, I like to keep two glues on hand. I normally have one for clients who have sensitive eyes, and then I have one for just regular. I really hope that you find this video very helpful because that is my goal in every video that I make. I had another question that I was gonna answer in a video for next week so i will see you then but thank you for watching and if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll do my best to answer them this is lilo everyone lilo and i <laughs> say bye
Can you show me your cute face? Come here. Oh my god, that was my laptop. Bye!